What is going on guys? Read text message here. Hope you a wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. This is going to be like a beginner's guide to the game for beginners. Alright, so I'm only level 31. I mentioned in my last video I wanted to make this video while I was around like level 30 because that's kind of like, you know, it's not crazy amount. You know, it's not like a crazy level, but it's also not like, you know, super easy to get to here. So, we're going to get to the first one here, alright? And that's obviously doing the quest on the right side. Alright, that's super simple and super easy. You can basically auto it. Uh, you just have to confirm all the rewards that you get. So, you can just go ahead and tap it. It'll move automatically for you. <clears throat> and that's basically it. You'll get XP and stones. That's the easiest way, right? That's basically the whole point of the story anyways. The game is to do these main quests. And part of that, you sometimes get like sub quest later on in like the little higher levels, like 25 and on. They're like a timed quest. Also go ahead and do that, right? That's also another huge thing that you do want to do. Second one here, guys, is working on your pets. Now, I'm seeing a couple different ways of people working on their pets, either doing the research first or you know, doing this here, or focusing on the growth rate, or leveling them up first, or trying to rank them up with the stars. There's a whole bunch of different ways. Unfortunately, I can't tell you all of them because I'm actually not able to upgrade yet, even if I could. So I can't tell you if upgrading the stars first is the wave, you know, it's a proper thing to do, or to level up first and then focus on the research. I don't know, all right? But I will tell you this. As you can see in my lineup, I have six level 30s. Well, seven technically. I don't use the, I don't use the Pentis here, all right? But I have the main six here, which I'll probably get rid of uh, Peach Pig, but have like a main five that you wanna run and then have a couple others that you're gonna keep for like a just in case instant right instance right so yeah this is my main five but let's say the enemy is you know grass or fire right I have two grass and I have two fire so maybe I would want to add in either another fire or another water you want to have a variety of types in your party as well you know, I have the one wind here, which is my hubo, but I have fire, water, fire, grass and water, wind, and water, and then wind and grass. So it's a lot of variety here that I have in my party. All right, if I were to do all these level ones here, or let's say, you know, wind, wind, grass, wind, fire, wind, and grass, I have no water. What if I get paired up against a whole bunch of fire pets and enemies, whatever you want to call them, right? So you do want to have variety and diversity in your party and how you choose to level up your pets is kind of up to you. I kind of go and level up, you know, right away. As soon as I level up, I go in and make them the highest level all the way up to whatever percentage and that's what I do and then I would focus on the research here so as you can see I already have level 3 and level 3 for these two and you can only do two at a time now the main two I would do for this getting into kind of like the this is all like one you know one tip here right this is the second one talking about the pets as a whole I would focus on the one with the thumbs up because that's like that goes with their, um, I'm forgetting the word what it's called. You know what I mean. You, you know what I'm trying to say. I can't think of the word. But that's like the recommended. If they're like more HP based or attack based, etc. Alright. I would do thumbs up. And then what I do personally is whatever's lower. So... Before I did the three levels for the attack, it was like at one, 
112 ish 113 so I wanted to put it up and balance it out so that's why I'm focusing on HP and attack something like Kreeros here I would do attack and look at the info here and probably do agility because agility is his worst stat to kind of get him balanced overall with everything else if that makes sense of course so yeah guys that's kind of gonna be it for pets I'm not gonna talk too much about costumes and whatnot I have a whole bunch here that I could uh, put on to help with HP and defense and whatnot and attack but those are like temporary things so but if you're having trouble with like a quest or something to defeating uh, multiple enemies I would say go ahead throw on the costumes if you can and that'll help you out substantially as well so guys we'll move on to the next one here all right guys so for our third tip here is actually capturing pets now when you're lower level you're not gonna they're not gonna be like as strong and whatnot but this is actually a perfect example right here this one here this cucabit has a costume all right so i would go ahead and attack it first right off the rip all right lower its overall hp only did 40 percent i'm gonna go ahead and do a single attack here it's getting ready to escape i'm gonna go ahead and block it off but basically why i'm capturing this anyways whether or not if it had the costume or not you want to have the pets so that you can dismiss them and get pet coins all right so we got this kooka bit here we got a nice costume i'm not gonna use him all right i'm not so i'm gonna go to my pets i'm gonna find him dismiss him actually we get rid of a couple here too i'm actually gonna get rid of three get 45 pet coins and that's that i can now use those coins to level up with my research so you do want to grab a whole bunch of pets not like every single one that you see right like i could go ahead and capture it again right there the gold kibit i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna really go out of my way to keep trying to you know get rid of the two kibits or the gold kibits whatever all the way around because if i look at it now there will only be one just when you know you're doing a quest or something and you see a, a pet there lying around bouncing around doing whatever just go ahead and capture like one or two and then move on with your quest and then just dismiss them if you're not going to use them but of course like i said before you do want to have diversity in your party if that's what you need to do to get a diverse party go right ahead now i'm going to get right into the last tip here that i have for beginners now not not a lot of people are going to want to hear this but you can of course grab one of these packs now it's not the most ideal because people don't want to spend money right people don't like pay to win games however it's very helpful i paid 60 cents for your first pack right there on the left i had a google play balance for my account which i then used to buy this here and then i just paid 60 cents overall i got a three star snow bun here all right and 100 pet coins and modification stones robes gems i got a three star snow bun who is now who i'm running with by the way right behind me my strongest pet right here all right with 5500 power of course you know i did a little research with him and whatnot but my second strongest was 5300 with the b star and it's basically you know the same thing here right straight up b look at the growth rate everything's very um i guess average if you want to call it with the, all the rates like some of them are staggered here and there lower higher he's kind of like a good you know over 50 percent for all of the growth rates here 60 cents or if you don't have any google play balance or gift card or anything like that It'll be like five dollars and forty cents it's not terrible but if you are struggling you know you can pay 
a little money to grab a pet and hopefully make it easier down the road for now because eventually he's not going to be as good once we get to you know the 50s and 60s where we can find you know s rank pets with higher stars of course because it goes up to six stars but three star for five bucks is it worth it that's something for you guys to decide i thought it was personally i'm gonna run him as one of my mains of course but yeah guys that's gonna wrap up this tips video this uh guy beginner's guide whatever you want to call it here if it was helpful at all be sure to drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new guys leave a comment down below on your thoughts i really want to hear what you guys think about this you know i'm not like the best player you know what i'm saying there's not a lot there's not like you know a set amount of you know gameplay that you can do to like determine if you're you know really good because you can just auto everything and you don't have to do anything it feels like an RPG where you have to really make sure your attacks count the most. Then I would say, you know, yeah, this is the best way to go about doing this. But you can just auto everything basically here. So, yeah, guys, that's going to basically wrap it up. There's not a whole lot else going on here. Uh, you can always, you know, make sure you're grabbing all your rewards and whatnot from all the different events and logins and whatnot. Uh, always do your quests, like I said. There's main, sub quest, sunning quest. So yeah, just make sure you're keeping up on everything. If there's a red dot, that's what you want to do, right? Like this one here, I have a whole bunch of these that I do need to do. But some of them, like, kind of take a little bit longer here. Like the normal mode here, I have to uh, do chapter two, so it requires me to do eight different levels type of things. So. Make sure you're doing all of your, uh, I, I don't want to call them quests, but do the things that they want you to do, the notifications that you get. Those are the ones you want to do as well. But yeah, guys, I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Peace.